Hi, I'm Kate, a fisheries biologist with Skeena Wild Conservation Trust, here to provide an in-season update on Skeena and North Coast salmon and steelhead returns and environmental conditions for July 25th, 2024. The information I'm sharing comes from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, First Nations Fisheries Programs, in particular the NISCA Fisheries Program, and Environment Canada. And just before I get started, a reminder that if you are heading out fishing, please check your current regulations before you head out. Skeena sockeye are tracking right around or just under the 10 year average and are on track for a return of about 2 million sockeye. The forecast of greater than 2 million return to Canada on July 25th does trigger changes to the limits for the recreational fishery, so you can keep an eye out for that notice if it occurs. Skeena Chinook is tracking well below the long term average and well below last year. We're expecting a return of less than 30,000 Chinook, while the long term average is around 100,000. For Skeena Chum, it's still very early, but we're starting to see returns tracking similar or slightly above the 10 year average and also higher than last year at this time. But it is very early and Skeena Chum have been depressed for several decades. There are no major updates for coho or pink salmon since the last video, but just in case you didn't catch that one. For Skeena Coho, it's still early, but we're expecting good returns into the Skeena and there have been good catches in recreational and commercial marine fisheries so far this year. And so far we're tracking right around or just above the 10 year average, very similar to last year at this time. For pink salmon, it's early as well, but we're expecting an average return and tracking average right around now. Catches in the North Coast troll fishery started low, but have picked up recently. And test fisheries in Alaska have also been very low for pink this year. The Skeena steelhead return is looking very strong for this time of year, tracking above the 10 year average and well above recent years, which saw very low returns, record low returns. Based on the Taiyi Index, approximately 10,000 steelhead have passed Taiyi at this time, which was the estimated total summer run from last year at the end of September. For the NAS, we're seeing a strong sockeye return, tracking above average, and the current in-season forecast is a total return of about 480,000. And we're seeing a below average nook return in the NAS with an in-season forecast total return of 21,000. It's early, but we're also seeing strong steelhead numbers into the NAS right now, but below average coho returns. It's that time of year when freshwater conditions start to be pretty important for returning salmon, with sustained water temperatures above 18 and especially 20 degrees, causing physiological stress and negatively influencing migration and survival. We started this season with a very low snowpack over the winter and lingering drought conditions. So just before the rain that's occurred throughout much of the region over the past couple days, water levels throughout the Skeena were below average and in some cases, such as the Babine, extremely low for this time of year. With rainfall events, we typically see a quick rise in water levels, which we can see on the graph there, and then a fairly quick return to the prior levels unless the rain continues. However, it also provides some relief to water temperatures, which you can see by the drop in the yellow line on the graph. So some systems, which were already seeing temperatures above 20 degrees, have seen some relief in the past few days. Interior systems like the Balkley and Babine, while still at lower water levels, have also seen some relief in temperature over the past couple days. In the NAS, water levels before the rain were right around their long-term average for this time of year, with water temperatures above long-term averages ranging from about 1 degree to about 5 degrees above average, depending where in the NAS. These systems also saw some temperature relief in the past few days. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll have another update in a couple weeks. You can find more detailed information at the links provided below, and in our previous videos from this year that go into more environmental conditions and marine conditions that might be influencing this year's returns. Feel free to reach out to us at info at with any questions.